review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we're gonna party all night. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is Linen Kugels making a return. The return of Linen Kugels. Or is it Linen Kugels? It's Linen Kugels. I think so, they put the pronunciation on the bottom. We'll have to look at it. Now. So, yeah, what we got, we're going to do the rotisserie as we normally do here. 5.0%. You got the government warning, so what you do is you turn your phone sideways and turn the fucking feature off that makes your picture turn around to read that and pause it. Okay. We'll turn here. Keep your phone sideways for this part. There's the barcode and all that good stuff. And, of course, you got the neck of the bottle advertising what it is. Canoe Paddler. Canoe Paddler. And it's even got a special cap to designate it. Established in 1867. Everybody likes a little paddle on the canoe. But didn't we say they were from Wisconsin or something? I think so. Yes, they are. Chihuahua Falls, Wisconsin. I was right. Chihuahua. Chippewa. So, links below to all the other Lenny Kugel episodes we've done. Uh, Chippewa Falls. You just completely alienated all the Native Americans. Sorry about that. All the Native Americans are now just, just speaking. Yes, yeah, so it even says right here, it's a, well, line and kugels, actually, so we're pronouncing it wrong. We, we pronounce it wrong all along. What the fuck? Eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Canoe Paddler Closh cool. Style Beer. Refreshing. Yeah. No. They refreshingly crisp, light bodied beer. Uh, when they are far up north, they're close enough to Canada. Six yeah! Gen Sixth generation of the family brewing, pride of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Sixth Wisconsin. generation, they beat Yingling. Sixth generation? But they've been around a lot less than. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's weird. That is weird how, yeah, they've been around, what, 1857? Ying Yingling was 1829. And they're already sixth generation. Only 5% alcohol by content. So, this is what you call a cloche beer. So, this is probably going to be somewhat light, maybe. But canoe paddler, this is the kind of beer you probably want to sip on as your canoe. Is this the type of beer that you drink when you float the crick? Yes. Probably. Yes, we say crick up here in PA, people. He I says, get shit for that all the time in West Virginia. He says crick, I don't. I, but to each his own. But yeah, this is what you uh, you have your floatable cooler. If you're really redneck... Even beers can float, too. Well, yeah. If you're really redneck, you take your cooler and you take those swimmy noodles, those pool noodles, tape it around the bottom of it so it'll float, and then as you're floating down the creek, as he says, you just grab yourself a beer. That is your beer tip of the week. Pool noodles, taped around a cooler, it will float. Anyway, as tradition... As usual, we're going to do... Cap test, but a head test, a drink test, a draft test, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, I don't remember if they're twist or not. Uh, it doesn't say on the cap, so. Oh, it is. Oh, that would have been so cool. Can't yeah. even. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, I didn't be that way. I smell hops, malts, barley, whatever the hell is in there. There is a slight IPA smell to it, but it's not strong. Yeah, not much. What the hell does that say? Refreshingly crisp, light body beer. So it's light in color. I can't even see my hand right behind it. Well, that might see, be look, oh, look. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm beating it off. Don't beat, don't beat off the bottle, please. I have get more head that way. I have to drink that now. Yeah, put that shit in your mouth. Now that you uh, beat it off. Yeah, shove it in your mouth. Suck it. It's not a fucking red rocket. Give him a ride and suck my wake. Well, it's definitely light, but it gives it like a dry aftertaste.
But this is definitely what you would call, like you said, a canoe paddler. You're just floating down the river. Alright, here goes. Lightning Kugel's canoe paddler. Lightning Kugel's canoe paddler. Let's try it. I pronounced it right that time. Plush. Plush. The first. Plush. Flavor beer. It is smooth as hell. Or a clush style. A flavor clush style. Now, let's see how light After this is. the taste goes away real quick. So far, so good. We're going to go ahead and see how light she is. And very. Very light. Very. Wow. <laughs> That's from when I was beating it off. Dropping fucking loads! <laughs> You're going to drink it. Yeah, that shit is light. Look at that. Well, if it was shit, it'd be darker. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, let's do a little glass shot there. You got the head. There's a little bit of carbonation going on there. Just a little bit. It, it kind of looks like your typical Budweiser when you look at it. I don't know. Maybe Bud's even later than that. I'm not sure. John yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a definite Flint the Con of Winnie Crick beer. Johnny, rise up your blow, play your fiddle hard. Hell's broke loose, George. Fuck you. We were listening to some Charlie Daniels just before we got on the air here. You tend to diversify more in the past whenever the present music sucks balls. If you lose, the devil takes your soul. Oh, oh, oh. This is a very refreshing beer. Last pass. That, that initial aftertaste. Kind of threw me off, but once you start drinking more of it, don't break my glass, please. It was good though. I like it. You got to glass it though. Oh, definitely. Better in the glass. But no, uh, as the name says, this is something that if you're gonna go tubing with your friends down the the lazy river, bring a bunch of this. Down the Potomac, down the Susquehanna, wherever the hell you are. Whatever crick you want. Down the Colorado. <laughs> down the Colorado crick. Or the Susquehanna Creek? The or Delaware Creek. Hi, the, I'm in Delaware. The, the Pacific Creek? The Atlantic Creek? The, the Lake Superior Creek? The Gulf Creek of Mexico? Yes. <laughs> ah! I'm going to go four. Nothing spectacular, but not offensive. There, there's my review for it. It's not offensive. But I would drink it. I'm going to say it's... I like it. It's really good. If offered to me, hell yeah, I'd take it. You know what? Four and a half. Four and a half. Lenny Kugels has been good to us so far. We haven't had a bad product from them so far. Have we? I don't, know. I don't think we did. I don't did, remember. We did like a winter... Didn't we do like a winter lager or a winter ale from them? Uh, I don't know. You, you'll have to look at the links below. We did uh, Lenny Kugels Summer Shandy. That was yeah, that was really good. That was good. It was almost comparable to Dundee. I think we also did um, a Christmas one with them. I think it was a cranberry or something. Yeah, I but think that was right. good. I'm, I'm gonna do links below for everything. It's yeah, I, I lining kugels. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think we've had a bad line of kugels product. But yeah, not nothing. Again, nothing that just blew me away. But at the same time, it didn't piss me off. So yeah, it didn't suck. I mean, four. Like I said, four and a half. I, mean, I think I, I would probably buy it by the case if it ain't too expensive. Yeah. Uh, if it, I wanted an alternative to my normal Yingling or whatever the hell else I drink. It might be expensive. Great, great alternative. I don't know how much Linux Kugel is, but it might be But expensive. at the same time, there's so many in that mid-range that are good. It's like, it's not memorable, but at the same time, I can still drink it. Right. If right. that makes sense to yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's the thing, too. It's, you're not going to go out and look for a specific... Like, the package doesn't really stick out. Yeah, this is the kind of beer you don't specifically go out and look for, but if you can't find anything else you want, and you see this, you grab it. This is a beer that you just come across. Exactly. Unless you're from Wisconsin. Yeah, if you're in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, apparently this is all you can get. Otherwise, they'll break your fingers. And cheese. And, yeah. Them Wisconsin people, they know how to, they know how to cut the cheese. Yes, they do. I know that was lame. A big gigantic fart just hanging right over the Chippewa Falls. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this week's review featuring Linen Kugels. I gotta read it. Canoe Paddler. So, we'll see you later.